Hey, what's happening, Herpers? So I'm working on a couple big projects for this channel that I'm excited about, but today's video is just gonna be a quick compilation video because I'm buying time. But if you'd like to find out how to get your TikToks, Reels, or YouTube Shorts featured in future compilation videos like this, make sure to stick around until the end because I will be telling you how to have a chance to do that. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this compilation and I will see you at the end. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Rattlesnake? What do you have in your mouth? Yep, that's what I thought. I bet that isn't too comfortable. Yeah, all right, well, hold still. I'll try to help you out with it. Here we go. I'm just going to reach in with these forceps because this is obviously a rattlesnake and I don't want to get bitten. And if you hold still, I should be able to just grab that wood chip. Perfect. And there it is. Holy cow. Check out the size of that thing. Wow. Feeling any better? All right, now just show me your mouth and let me see that we got it all out. Good boy. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for daily reptile videos. Animals that have the highest chance of killing you from each state. So the full video should be linked down there, but I was curious because he never got to Arizona. I was like, is it rattlesnakes? Don't be rattlesnakes. Is it rattlesnakes? Don't be rattlesnakes. It's not rattlesnakes. It's dogs. So it looks like you're off the hook this time. So I've got two guesses as to what's going on here, and either way, the snake's having a really bad day. So first, it appears that there's a caiman tail next to it in that clip, and it kind of looks like a snake that was trying to regurgitate a meal. So it might have regurgitated that caiman that it had tried eating, possibly because it took on water while it was eating, and it's now trying to clear that water out of its airways. Uh, possibility two, uh, the, the snake was already sick and wasn't able to hold down the meal, and the sickness that it has is essentially a respiratory infection. I was sick last week. Every time I coughed, you could hear phlegm and things being kicked up as my body was trying to expel it and clear my airway. The snake could be doing the same exact thing right now, but unfortunately, snakes don't have as big of an airway to work with as we do. If you've ever seen videos where I show you the glottis, that little tube inside the snake's mouth that they can breathe with while they're eating big meals, that thing can become impacted with phlegm and essentially cut off their breathing, and that might be what we're hearing. Relax. I just want to take some pictures. Like, do you guys ever stop to take a minute and think, like, there is a wild animal living in my house? And, like, not only a wild animal, but, like, a carnivore. Like a day. So if you spend much time in the reptile news corners of the internet, you have probably already heard about the victim of the most recent monster snake attack. On Sunday, October 23rd, 2022, a 54-year-old woman named Jara, living in Jambi province of Indonesia, went to work at a rubber plantation for the last time. When she didn't return home that night, her husband reported her missing and began searching for her immediately. He eventually came across her tool she used at the plantation and a few articles of clothing. She wouldn't have just left these behind, so her increasingly worried husband enlisted the help of others to help him find his wife. The next morning, the security team at the rubber plantation discovered an approximately 22-foot-long snake struggling to move with a very large lump in its stomach. Word must have traveled to the nearby village because after that, a group of villagers found and killed the snake, then dissected the snake's stomach. To everyone's horror, they had finally found Jara. In a video, I have included a few stills from here. I mean, look, it's just a perfectly normal... Oh my god, he's a weirdo. We were right. You know, I can't afford it. How about this new Faldex speaker? You fiend, you... You know, I'm still paying on the indoor boosters and the stereo adapters. You dirty rat. You got me started on this stuff. Take it easy, Charlie. You came to me, don't forget, if you can't handle it. Charlie? Charlie, stay away from those knobs. Charlie, don't touch that big knob. <laughs> Sellers could get a guy like Charlie. dangerous to be curious. Forgoing cliches about what killed the cat, curiosity has led to the death of many of scientists. This week's video is one of these stories. In 1957, a herpetologist's optimism and devotion to his studies led him to personally record the symptoms he experienced after being bitten by a small green snake in the Chicago Field Museum of Natural History. 
The local newspaper would later call these notes a snakebite death diary. These notes belong to Dr. Carl Patterson Schmidt, but what is so strange is he was a snake expert and an accomplished herpetologist. In his life, he had published over 150 papers on herpetology and had named at least 200 reptiles. So why on September 25th, 1957, did Carl grab a snake he knew to be venomous? Why didn't he seek any medical care after the bite? And how did he die from a single fang prick from a juvenile snake that was widely believed to be only mildly venomous? Well, luckily, we have a collection of notes directly from the source, and today we are going to read Carl's account of everything he experienced up until his death in an effort to understand what killed Carl. Alright, take it easy. Just trying to give you some Halloween decorations. There we go. Hey, don't, don't need my camera. Look at that. Is that incredible? Hey, more proof snakes don't want to hurt people. That was a completely ineffective way to use a hook, and the only thing that stopped him from getting bit was that the snake didn't want to bite him for some reason. I'd ride right, play this game. You have to catch it. Okay, I'll ready? catch it. All right. Let's get, let's okay, I'll do it. Okay. That was a really I'm bad. ready for the game. <laughs> really do, what does catch mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> There were signs warning you to be careful and respectful of the ancient inhabitants of this land, but it's too late now. Standing by yourself in the desert on a cool October night, you were suddenly and painfully aware. You should have heeded the warnings as two small dots of blood on your ankle began to grow larger, then turned to two slow but steady streams of blood, except it's not your blood anymore. It's a pink emulsified slurry of the shattered pieces of your blood cells. An agonizing burning sensation begins to fill your veins that were full of healthy blood only a second before. Proper respect was not given to this beast, and now you are melting one cell at a time. On this channel, I try to show reptiles in a positive light, highlighting their role in the ecosystem, as well as their aversion to interacting with people in general, let alone the idea they want to attack people. But there is a reason snakes are as feared as they are, and have literally been a stand-in for evil in some of the oldest traditions around the world. Venomous snakes have developed horrifying concoctions made from naturally occurring peptides in their body that can disfigure, maim, kill prey, and even some predators. The average person has about $10,000 in their bank account. I have about $2.36, but have you seen my dog? I studied on killing you. I studied about it quite a bit. I'm assuming black noodle of a snake. It is not the scariest snake, and its venom usually isn't even that lethal. But some ordeals might be even scarier than death. This is a species of snake commonly referred to as stiletto snakes. They get their name from how well they can rock high heels. Wait, no, that's not right. It says here they are named after the knife, not the shoe, which is a much better start to making them scary already. They get their intimidating name from their unique method of envenomating their prey. Stiletto snakes are a group of African fossorial snakes belonging to the Attractaspidae family and the Attractaspis genus, and they get their name from their specialized method of delivering their venom. Because stiletto snakes often hunt for food in narrow subterranean burrows, they needed a way to bite and inject venom, even when there is not physically any room to open their mouth or properly strike inside of constricted narrow tunnels. To solve for this, stiletto snakes developed a viper-like Selenoglyphus fang. That and that's it for this compilation video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite short was and what you'd like to see more of going forward because I do regularly post shorts in between posting the longer form content on this channel. So let me know what you liked and what you want to see more of. And now finally, if you are interested in having any of your shorts, reels, or TikToks featured in a future compilation video, then all you have to do is email me at herpinhippiefeature at gmail.com. I'll put the email address right there and down in the description as well. I don't make these compilation videos all that often, but if I start getting a lot of great submissions from you, then I'll start making more compilation videos. And I, of course, will include your screen name and links to your pages in the video. That way, it'll hopefully drive some traffic to your pages as well, and we can work on growing this corner of the Herp community. So thank you again for making it all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait for the videos that are coming out. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out when those videos come out. And finally, I would like to thank all the patrons that make this channel possible, starting with my head herpers. Allie Ward, Amanda Lynn, Bobby Cromer, Deborah Torgerson, JCH, Lindsay Justice, Liz Dillinger, Sierra Sicard, Tiffany H., and Wyatt Gilbert. Thank you so much for supporting this channel at the highest tier level every month, and I would also like to thank all the other supporters over on Patreon that helped me keep this channel going. And those are the magnificent names you see scrolling down the screen now. Thank you, I really could not do it without your help. And with that, I hope something in this compilation brought a smile to your face. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your week, but most of all, I hope that you just keep herping.